Hello again, I'm Mike and I'm the Sports History Collector. Today's episode is Athletes at War, Volume 18, World War II, featuring Yankees and Senators pitcher Frank Speck Shea. Frank Shea, better known by his nickname Speck, not for wearing glasses, but because of the freckles on his face, was a, was a pitcher in the American League for eight seasons with the Yankees and the Senators from 1947 to 1955, compiling a lifetime 56 and 45 record with a 3.80 ERA while earning two World Series rings in 1947 and 1951. The 47 series had Speck starting three games and going 2-0 with a 2.35 ERA and striking out 10 against the Brooklyn Dodgers and their new rookie Jackie Robinson. Despite a workmanlike career, Speck's greatest accomplishment might have been prior to signing with the Yankees. Speck spent three years in the Army Air Corps from 1943 to 1946 and it was among the uh, thousands of GIs who went ashore in Normandy just days after D-Day during World War II. Now, as I've stated before, a lot, of time the a lot of times the soldiers of the greatest generation didn't like to talk about what happened over there. Even those that didn't speak about it, well, their stories can kind of be pieced together, which is the case for Speck Shea. We know that soldiers that were in Europe on D-Day or shortly after were almost always in the thick of the fighting. And we also know that Speck Shea had risen to the rank of sergeant. So we also know that he would have been a good soldier with the respect of the other men. What we know for sure was a story told by Speck's son, Frank Jr. The younger Frank recalled uh, hearing a story from his dad about being injured in an explosion during the war. He was carrying two cans of gasoline and a sniper's bullet hit one of the canisters, young Frank related. Scorched virtually from head to toe, Shea was a hospital case for months. No, um, no Purple Heart, though, he said late years later, because it wasn't enemy action. I always wondered, though, Frank Jr. said, if they called it friendly action. The truth of the matter is, though, is that it probably was friendly action. The military was pretty quick to give out Purple Hearts to soldiers injured in the line of duty, and I also know from research that there were many accidents that happened during the war with accidental weapon discharge and accidental shootings. More than likely, this is what happened to poor Speck. Either way, we don't know uh, when uh, during his time in Europe this happened, but I, I suspect it was towards the last several months since I doubt he would have gone back to active duty. No matter uh, the situation though, thank you Frank Shea for your service to this great country. And now for a couple uh, quick tidbits. When asked who his funniest teammate was, Yogi Berra was quick to name his old roommate, Speck Shea. According to Yogi, Speck used to love to ride the subway wearing a Halloween mask. He was always cracking us up, said Yogi. Also, Shea became good friends with Joe DiMaggio. Jolt and Joe was often aloof and didn't get real close with a lot of people, but apparently Shea treated him like one of the guys and didn't treat him uh, like he was on a pedestal, which was appreciated by Joe quite a bit. So much so that Joe often took Speck to breakfast and never allowed him to pay. Another thing Joe was not known for doing. <laughs> Today for my collection, I have a great 1952 Bowman card of Speck Shea signed beautifully in blue ink across his back and shoulder. I love this card because the background is almost entirely green, which makes the blue and the white of the uniform pop out. I also like it because of the great pitching follow-through pose, and you can just imagine Speck striking out the opposing batter. Well, that's all for today's episode of Athletes at War featuring Frank Speck Shea. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you soon.